I'm Shell. I'm presenting our work on consensus models in database. This is a joint work with Andrea, Azalea, and Philippa. Consistent models in distributed key value stores are hard to understand. There are many proposals of consistent model definitions. For example, there are well-known general axiomatic definitions, which put constraints on the shape of graph-based states. Other trace-based state semantics defines consistent model as the properties over the entire traces. Last, there are many references implementation and references oper operational semantics for specific consistency models. We propose an interleaving operational semantic that can be parameterized by consistency models. Specifically, we focus on consistency models in distributed key value stores. We show that our definitions are correct with respect to axiomatic definitions. Because of the operational feature, we believe that our semantics can be an interface for verifying implementation of distributed key value stores and reasoning client programs. The internal structure and the state of a distributed key value store can be very complicated. For example, common structure including replicated database or sharded database. Those databases often allow weak behavior because of temporarily out of synchronization. Yet, these details are not important to the user. In our semantics, we use a global key value store or a KV store to abstract the state of a distributed key value store. Each key in a key value store is associated with a list of abstract versions, particularly each abstract version contains a value, the writer who committed this value, and a set of readers. A client of a distributed key value store may not observe the entire global state. For example, this client may only observe a state from one replica. We model this through a notion of client view, which only contains partial information over the global key value store. We propose a standard interleaving semantics. Our semantics is parameterized by a notion of execution test, ET. It checks if a client is allowed to commit a transaction. In our semantics, the notion of a client view helps us to reduce a transaction in one abstract step instead of several small steps with the fine grain interleaving. The key rule in our semantics is atomic transaction rule which describes how a client commit a transaction. We will explain it in the following slides. Each view corresponds to a local snapshot, which is a simple plain key value store. It is the initial stage for a transaction, and the transaction will read from or write to the local snapshot before commit. Here, we make our first assumption the snapshot includes the latest observable versions this corresponds to the last write ring resolution policy, which has been used in many distributed key value stores. The semantics for executing commands of a transaction is straightforward, since it is local to the transaction. To track the effect of a transaction, we collect a fingerprint, that is, a read-write set. Note that we focus on consensus models that satisfy snapshot properties, also known as atomic visibility, Hence, the fingerprint only tracks the first read before any write per key and the last write per key. In our increment example, the fin final fingerprint contains two operations, write two to key k and read one from key k. Now the client wants to commit the fingerprint to the key value store. But before that, we need to check if it is allowed. We use the can commit predicate to check. Given the key value store k and the view u, if a fingerprint is allowed to commit under a execution test et. Recall that an execution test corresponds to a consistency model. We will explain execution tests later. Let's assume that the check pass for now. If the check passes, we are ready to commit the fingerprint. We pick a fresh transaction ID, for example, t3 here. For any write in the fingerprint, it appends a new version with the writer to be the new transaction ID. For read, it adds the transaction ID to the reader set. However, we have not done yet 
we still need to decide a new view for the client. Note that this new view will affect future transactions. It is done through a view shift predicate that is also parameterized by an execution test ET. For example, the predicate here says the new view U prime must contain all versions included in the old view U and any new versions written by the transaction. For example, the last version here. Note that all the steps I just described is one big rule in our semantics called atomic transaction rules. Other rules such as sequential composition are as expected. In the atomic transaction rule, we mentioned two predicates, can commit and the view shift. Both are parameterized by an execution test ET. We use these two predicates to specify many well-known consistency models. For example, causal consistency, snapshot isolation, parallax snapshot isolation. Can commit determines that given a view U, if a fingerprint F of a transaction is allowed to commit to the key value store K. We will use the running example to explain the can commit. View shift determines the post view of a client after committing a transaction. The view shift is easier to understand. It often says something like the post view must include all versions previously observed by the same client or versions written by the same client. To explain can commit, first, we need to introduce some relation between transaction identifiers in the key value store. We have write, write, ww, saying that one transaction commits a newer version on the same key after another transaction. Write, read, wr, says that a transaction directly reads from the version written by another transaction. Read, write, rw, says that a transaction reads a version being overwritten by another transaction. Last, we have session order, which is the commit order of the transactions from the same client. Can commit is defined as closure properties against the relation R, which will be a combination of the four relations I just introduced. Here, we take causal consistency as an example to show what we mean by a view is closed. Assume the key value store K we saw before. Assume another client whose view only contained the first and the last versions. Causal consistency requires that view is closed with respect to session order union right read. In the key value store, we observe that there is a right read edge from transaction T1 to transaction T2. The closure requires that if a view includes a version written by a transaction, for example, T2 here, if there's another transaction related to T2 with respect to the relation, for example, T1 here, the view also needs to include all versions written by transaction T1. Here, the view needs to include the second version specifically. If the client also includes the second version, we have a view that is close with respect to session order union write read which corresponds to causal consistency. Here is a table of all consistency models we have covered in the paper, including causal consistency CC, parallel snapshot isolation PSI, snapshot isolation SI, and serializability SER. To justify our semantics, and particularly definition of consistency models using execution tests, we prove our operational definition of consistency models is equivalent to the well-known graph-based axiomatic definitions on abstract execution. We prove it by trace equivalent. The challenge here is that abstract execution maintains a total commit order over all transactions, while in our key value store we only have a partial order over versions per key. In abstract execution, they define consistency models as constraints on visibility edges. For each consistency model, we show equivalent relation between execution test, ET, and the constraints on visibility edges. We then plug the relation into constructors, which lift the equivalent relation to single step level. That is, given equivalent key value store and abstract execution X, after one step, the resulting k prime and x prime are still equivalent, 
the notion of equivalence between k and x means they contain the same information. Given the single step equivalence, we can easily lift them into equivalent relation between traces. Given our semantics, we have two applications. One is to verify implementation by trace refinement. We show how to do that for a particular replica database and a particular sharded database. The challenge is to link the synchronization mechanism in the implementations to the view and the closure mechanism in our semantics. We also show how to use our semantics to reason about client programs by proving the invariance properties of reachable states of the client programs. For example, we can prove robustness. Robustness can be done also in other semantics. Here we prove a state-based invariant that implies robustness. Second, we prove the mutual exclusive properties of a lock program. This property may be difficult to achieve in other graph-based semantics since they need to recover state from the graph, while it is relatively easier to prove in our semantics. To conclude, we propose an interleaving operational semantics which can be parameterized by consistency models. We use global abstract key value stores to represent the detailed states of distributed key value stores. This representation contains enough information to allow us to specify many well-known consistency models. We use views to represent the observable states of individual clients. It also plays the key role in our semantics. First, it allowed us to have a standard interle interleaving operational semantics on the level of transactions as an atomic steps. Second, it allows us to model many weak consistent models. Then we propose execution tests as operational definitions of consistency models. We give many examples, including causal consistency and snapshot isolation. We show that those operational definitions are equivalent to the well-known axiomatic definitions. All the trace equivalent proofs are non-trivial, but we provide several levels of general constructors so we only need to focus on the equivalence relations between execution tests and the visibility constraints. Our semantics can be an interface for verifying implementation and reasoning client programs. Although our semantics is very abstract, we still manage to prove two implementation protocols. The biggest strength of our semantics is that it is state-based, with interleaving on transaction level. This is how most programmers think of the interaction to a key value store. In our second application, we show that our semantics can prove state-based invariant properties of client programs. In the future, it would be nice to first mechanize our semantics and build an engine that actually executes our semantics. With the engine, it is possible to generate litmus tests for implementation and to build model checker for client reasoning.